Holly Willoughby was supported by her ITV co-star as she dazzled on the red carpet this evening when she stepped out to attend the Prince's Trust Awards. She looked radiant as she showed up to the event in a striking red dress, not shying away from the limelight amid her reported fallout with fellow This Morning presenter Philip Schofield. Following the star-studded event earlier today, Holly took to Instagram this evening to share a sweet message about the awards and what they mean to her. The Morning Tally star, 42, was comforted by Good Morning Britain favourite Kate Garraway as the Powells bumped into each other on the red carpet. Kate pulled Holly into an encompassing warm embrace in front of the cameras as photographers snapped away. The ITV duo stepped out at the Theatre Royal Drury Lane to pay tribute to the determination and bravery of young people amid a rumoured fallout with Holly's co-presenter Phil. The blonde bombshell's appearance alongside the likes of Stanley Tucci and George and Imal Clooney, came just hours after a mirror source claimed that Holly feels trapped by the spiralling this morning crisis involving her one-time best friend Philip Schofield, and has contemplated quitting the show. The ITV host saw the furor around her and Phil, 61, escalate over the weekend. She is said to love her work and doesn't want to leave but is struggling to cope with the situation. By removing herself from the situation she could protect herself better, claims the source. Meanwhile Phil, who recently disowned his brother Timothy Schofield in the wake of his conviction of child sexual abuse offences, for which he will be sentenced on Friday, appeared alongside his co-host as usual on Monday and today. Some viewers commented on their seemingly strained body language. It is so awkward and uncomfortable to watch, from the lack of dynamic or cooperation of both Holly and Phil to the blatant discomfort of the guests on the show, tweeted one. Another wrote, Holly and Phil looking very uncomfortable on this morning. Cut the atmosphere with a knife. She can't even look at him. Notably, the show's regular newspaper review slot on Monday morning was cut short and papers carrying the Phil and Holly feud story on the front pages weren't shown. Holly is sick of being lied to, claims the source. She feels trapped. She knows she could easily find another job at a different channel, so it's up to ITV to give her assurances that she'll be taken care of if she stays put. Amid the drama, Holly has kept a dignified silence and only took to her social media on Tuesday to post an update from the awards ceremony. Publishing a snap of herself glowing and grinning on the red carpet, Holly gushed in the caption about the honor she felt presenting one of the night's awards. She penned, as a proud ambassador for the It Princess Trust it was a real honor to present the Watches of Switzerland Group Young Changemaker Award to an incredible young man called Motaz Amr. So wonderful to spend time with him today and hear his remarkable story. The whole afternoon was about recognizing young people who have overcome some incredible challenges to succeed against the odds. Neither Holly nor Phil have addressed the feud on air. But Phil did release an eyebrow-raising statement late last week stating the past few weeks haven't been easy for either of them. As I have said before, Holly is my rock, he said in the release, which wasn't co-signed by Holly. We're the best of friends, as always, she is an incredible support on screen, behind the scenes and on the phone. Holly has always been there for me through thick and thin. And I've been there for her. Phil originally convinced bosses to hire Holly when they had doubts over her hard news skills, she admitted in 2021. If it wasn't for Phil, I wouldn't be on this morning now because everyone around him at the time when he suggested my name, were like, what? No. 
She might be alright in the fashion bit but there's no way she could interview the Prime Minister, she said at the time.